Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 228. The noun phrase today is hatchet man. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it now. All right, let's get right to it. If someone calls a person a hatchet man or a hatchet woman, uh, that person has been hired by a company to make significant and sweeping changes to save the company money especially by firing people or get rid, getting rid of useless, non-profitable, or unworthy parts of a company. Uh, yeah, so it's definitely used in the business sense like this. Uh, usually the phrase is used to show disapproval. Yeah, that somebody thinks maybe they're going too far, cutting too much, not caring about workers that are being fired, kind of in that sense. A hatchet man can also be a person who writes to criticize, attack, or destroy the reputation of another. So it could be a writer, especially a journalist in this sense. And number three here is a professional killer. Right? This is the third meaning for hatchet man, and maybe the original one. All right, um, let's continue. Let's look at the origin here. The origin of the phrase may have derived from violent gang warfare in the U.S., in the late 1800s and early 1900s. The term seems to come out of the San Francisco area, you know, a very big Asian area, you know, that even today they still have an extremely large Chinatown in that area. And the hatchet man uh, was claimed to be a Chinese assassin who had hacked a target to death with a hatchet or a meat cleaver. So this is so you can see exactly where hatchet man comes from when they kill the person they kill them with one of with this tool okay let's go on uh this type of murder was referred to as a hatchet job okay good all right and we have uh, five examples to show just how we would use this all right here's the first one after the new ceo took over he hired a hatchet man to reorganize the company and get rid of the fat the fat you know the parts of the company that's not very productive, it's kind of a waste, that's what they mean. All right, number two here. The budget has been exploding for years. Uh, they had to hire a hatchet man to get rid of the waste. All right, so same sort of idea. All right, number three here. The company's hatchet man dissolved several departments, like he just got rid of those departments completely, and trimmed the workforce by 30%. So he reduced it by 30%. All right, number four, uh, they sent out a hatchet man to silence him. Now, this, this one could have two meanings. One, it could be the assassin. To silence him could mean to kill him, get rid of him. Or it could be, you know, the journalist, too. Maybe he's writing negative or bad pieces to shut somebody else up so they'll stop talking. All right, number five here. The journalist uh, was the news organization's hatchet man. Uh, they gave him assignments to attack political rivals they don't like. Yeah, well, we know a lot of news organizations tend to be biased one way or another, usually in favor of one political party and against another. So maybe this guy, you know, that's one of his specialties. He wrote a lot of articles to criticize people that, you know, they didn't like or that, you know, was against the agenda of the newspaper or the, uh, the political party they didn't like. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.